All right, so what I'd like to do is show you how to add a fraction to a whole number. Now, when adding a fraction to a whole number, basically what we need to do is rewrite our whole number as a fraction. Um, therefore, we're going to notice by just dividing by 1 or just rewriting 8 over 1, you still have 8, right? So we didn't change anything. Um, but now, when we want to add our fraction now, right, we change our whole number to a fraction to another fraction, we have to make sure we have common denominators. And you can see our denominators are not the same. This is a 1, that's a 3. So we need to get to them to be the same denominator, which is what we would say common denominators. Um, and so what we do to identify the common denominator is we're looking for the common multiples. And again, you can think about that by just by counting by 1s. That's supposed to be a 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, and then counting by 3s. 3, 6, 9, 12. These are the multiples of 1. Those are the multiples of 3. And what we see is the smallest common number multiple, or the least common multiple, is 3. So what we want to do is make sure that both of our denominators are 3. Now, this denominator is already 3, so there's nothing we need to do there. But here, we need to get this to be 3. So there's really two ways we can look at this. We could add 2 to it, or we could multiply by 3. Well, the correct operation is going to be multiplication, because what that's going to do is that's going to produce an equivalent fraction only if we also multiply by 3 up top, right? Because again, just real quick, I'll show you. When we multiply now 3 times 8, that's 24, over 3 times 1 is going to be 3. 24 over 3, or 24 divided by 3, is the same thing as 8, right? 3 goes into 24 8 times. Now, let's just pretend that we added 2 instead. So therefore, let's say we added 2 in the top and the bottom. So therefore, we'd have 10 thirds. 10 thirds is not equivalent to 24 thirds, right? Those are not the same fractions. So that's why adding is not going to work. It's not going to produce an equivalent fraction. So we're going to multiply by 3 over 3. And now, we don't need to do anything to that fraction. Now we have the common denominators. And now we can just apply our operation to our numerator. So basically, we're just going to add 24 plus 4 over 3. 24 plus 4 is 28 over 3. Now the next thing we'd want to do is go ahead and see if we need to um, rewrite this as a mixed number. I prefer to leave it as an improper fraction. However, for some classes or teachers or tests and quizzes or whatever, might need to go ahead and rewrite this as an improper fraction. So to do that, you're going to say, how many times does 3 evenly divide into 28? Well, 3 goes into there. 3 times 9 is 27. And 20, 28 minus 27 is 1. So that means as a fraction, we could write this as it goes in there seven whole times, right? Three goes into seven, not seven whole times. It definitely goes in there seven. We could say it goes in there nine times and with the remainder of one. So really, nine and one-thirds is equivalent to 28 thirds. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you add a whole number to a fraction. Cheers.